The GitHub Markdown Preview extension makes VS Code's built-in Markdown Preview more closely match what you'd see on GitHub. Here, for example, I have a Markdown file, and I'm just going to open up the built-in preview using Control-K and then V, or Command-K and then V on Mac. So here's the built-in preview, and you can see that by default, VS Code's built-in preview will try to match the current theme. So I'm on Dark Plus, and the theme, or the preview theme, is also kind of a dark theme here. Now, if we wanted this preview to more closely match on GitHub, say we're publishing a readme or we're publishing some pages to a wiki on GitHub or something like that, then we could actually go and install the GitHub Markdown Preview extension here to have a better preview of what this code will actually look like or the Markdown will actually look like when it's hosted on GitHub. So as soon as I install this extension, you'll notice that the built-in previews theme has completely changed. It now has a white background. The fonts have changed, the colors have changed, and some of the styling and spacing has changed as well. Now this continues to be the same built-in preview that I had before, so functionality like scroll sync, that all just works, but the styling is now quite different. Now this hasn't only just updated the styling, however, it's also added support for new content. So one feature that is supported on GitHub is that you could use a colon and then an emoji name to actually have that uh, emoji be rendered in the markdown. That is not normally supported in VS Code's markdown preview, but with this extension, I can now do that. So I'm going to find the section here for extending the markdown preview, and I'm going to say colon, smile, and sure enough, over here in the preview, it is now rendering that section with a smiley face. Another neat thing that is now being rendered, so if I scroll to the top of this document, you can see this front matter, the YAML front matter here. VS Code's normal markdown preview will actually just strip that out and hide it. Here we are trying to do what GitHub does, does which is actually render this as a table. So we've added the table now is being rendered for this YAML front matter. So that is the GitHub Markdown Preview extension. I'm a little biased since I wrote the extension, but I do think it's very helpful if you're writing documentation that's going to be pushed up to GitHub.